Fuck them. Also, uh, I'll have you know I'm internet famous now. As, as I segue flawless, let me get a sip of water, actually. As I segue flawlessly into the third leg of the stream, which will last forever, I made a tweet. I said, Shadman was arrested in L.A. for assault with a deadly weapon, good riddance. Oh, before I, before I get into this, let me just play something real quick. So now I'm just sort of I'm sort of hoping that he'll kill himself soon, and then I can just like talk. I can do a person stream on him and not have to worry about any more updates. So I'm waiting for him to die, and then I'll do a proper stream on him. So I'm I'm trying to keep this as brief as possible. So everybody gather around and let's all point our prayer rugs towards L.A. L.A. I know we don't ask much from you because you are a shithole and everything that you do is vile and horrific. But if you could please consume Shadman and take him from this planet, we would all be very grateful. Uh, in the name of L.A., we pray. Thank you. <laughs> uh. This is why I tell you guys. You have to think DS positive. You can't think DS negative. When you get together and you will something into existence, you say, LA, you will consume Shadman. Then it will consume him. It, you can, it's all in your mind. The universe is in your mind. Everything that you see is a perception from your brain. So theoretically, your brain should be able to control reality, right? And if you, if you send the energy out there and you, you, just, you just invoke it, the chances of it happening go up significantly. You can't you can't break the laws of the universe, but you can have a butterfly effect. And I really think that just thinking something, wanting something, knowing that it's going to happen, can invoke it to happen, chat. So, congratulations, you all did it. Everyone who participated with me in that that stream. <laughs> Isn't he on heroin? Yeah, dude, he's like a black tar heroin junkie and shit, and he gets arrested for assault with a de de deadly weapon. I don't know the details. And I tried to get a mug shot for him. And good fucking luck trying to get a mug shot from LA. Their websites are the most busted ass shit I've ever dealt with. Truly horrific. To the point where I would go to certain, like the LA Sheriff website, and I would click on shit trying to find the, the mug shot page. And I would just get Apache errors, 404, not found. Like, this is the largest city in the United States. This is the most populous city in the country. And nothing works. No mugshot directory. I sent an email to an address they had listed. Contact this email address if you are inquiring about um, people held in custody. I do. I get an error from their, their inbox system saying that that mailbox isn't configured correctly. It's like, what the fuck are you guys doing? How does your justice system not know how to set up a goddamn email address for me to send an email to? I found a form and I submitted it and God knows how that works. It's just unbelievably busted. There was one part of the page where you had to sign in to get case information and the registration button doesn't work. I tried it on three different computers. I tried it on my phone. I tried it on my laptop. I tried it on my, uh, my desktop. I tried it on two different browsers too. Just doesn't fucking work. The registration button flat out does not fucking work on this thing. So I couldn't register. I had to ask someone who already had an lacourt.gov website account to, to, to get us a case information for me it cost uh, them a dollar to do it which they build in my name for some reason and then there was still no mugshot so i sent an email to the the sheriff i'm like can i get a picture of this guy and who knows who knows chat maybe la can do it but i doubt it they listed him as white yeah for, for dead ass he's half black he's from switzerland he's half black and they see his mud ass and i guess the sheriff is like a 56% or two, and it's like, hey, I said, I'm also Blanca. Hey. And then he's just like, hey. And they mark each other white, and they give each other a little thumbs up, and <laughs> everyone's happy. But uh, so this is the charge. I'll show my tweet again. Uh, this, is, <laughs> this is the charge. Arrested October 26th, and I think he was arrested again. No, this is like a, a week or two weeks ago. And just nobody found out about it until just now uh he was arrested his court date is on the 15th he was i don't know what sent date means sentence there's no way he's sentenced already unless he pled out or something uh but yeah he's booked and on the bottom of it when you go into the actual case 
it will cite the statute he was charged with, and he was charged with a uh, assault with a deadly weapon. We looked it up, and that is. I can't remember how much the monetary fine was, but it's also jail for a year or prison for two, three, or four years. So depending on how severe it was that they add extra charges if he takes a plea deal or whatever, yeah, he could go to, to prison. He could go to California, Los Angeles, prison for four years. What a fucking nightmare. An absolute nightmare. And I don't want to suggest people doing anything, but... I have a feeling, uh, based on people's sentiments towards him, that there may be an attempt by specific individuals not named, who I don't know, to send letters to other people at that prison uh, with some stories that they may or may not take a liking to, which could result in certain actions against Shadman. Uh, so really, really not a place that guy really wants to be. Probably the exact opposite of a place he wants to be. Could it be that Shadman wasn't actually half back? Look at his fucking pictures, bro. Uh, from what I understand, he's the son of a Louisiana preacher man and a Swiss woman. He looks like a mutt. He's completely, like, I look at him, I have no fucking idea what he is. I thought he was Arab or something at first. Is his name Shade Prigine? Like, what kind of name is that? It's baffling. But uh, this tweet, by the way, I guess I'm the one that broke the news to Twitter. Uh, it was some complete random. He registered to the site just to post this information from Unicorp. Uh, but this has like 7,000 likes, 17,000 17, likes, 7,000 retweets, which is like crazy. Someone even complained. Says, Josh, this isn't your personal account. This is for the Kiwi Farms. I only want updates about the Kiwi Farms. Well, you know what, motherfucker? Whoever said that, I forgot. This 6,000 retweets. These people, 17,000 people said... I like this tweet, and then another 6,000 were like, you know what, I like this tweet so much, I bet you my, my followers would want to see this tweet. And then you down there, way down there, are like, no, I only want to see Kiwi Farms updates. And I'm so popular that Nick Riccato might even notice me. Come on. <laughs> oh, no, the mutts are out. The mutts are out in writing gay prison rape fanfic in chat. Help. Help me, chat. <laughs> Flood out the gay, the gay prison rape. It's Mutt's Law. We've, we've broken Mutt's Law. Hold up. Though, I, I don't know. I, I consider this like Mutt's Law subsection B. Mutt's Law, in its, in its pure form, is just this. Being, as an online discussion grows longer, the probability of an Amerimut mentioning black dicks or interracial sex approaches one. Subsection B is, as any conversation about jail continues, the discussion of an Amerimut bringing up gay prison rape approaches one. This is true. This is universally true, and it's unique to Americans. No other country, no other people in the entire world considers rape to be part of the justice system, except for Americans who lavish it. Like, mm -hmm. Ooh, I, can't, I can't wait. I can't wait for that boy to be buck broken. I want to hear him squeal like a pig. Suey. Suey, squeal like a pig, Shadman. Suey, and it's like, okay, okay, this is this is haram. This isn't verboten. This is not allowed. We need to calm down and stop thinking about about gay prison rape as as a society. I want to live in a society that doesn't masturbate to gay interracial prison rape all the fucking time. Ugh, it's disgusting, chat. What's I just mentioned it. It's the law. <laughs> it's the law. It's Mutt's law. Exactly. Oh, and before I forget, I want to archive this. I want to archive this in history. Uh, to celebrate the occasion, I have not only... I have not only put Krabby's as the logo. Nice little dancing crabs up there. But... Pow! Pachow, pachow, confetti, chat. Every time you click on this thread, a, dis a, nice, a nice little confetti... All over the place. Everyone loves it. Everyone sees this confetti and is like, oh my god, I love this confetti. What a nice, what a nice touch, Josh. I'm so glad you added this confetti for us to click around and look. Arr. What a day. What a day. Mm, I guess I should re recap briefly on who Shadman is. In case you don't know, the reason... 
I'm going to be accused of cancel culture. There's one person in particular who likes to accuse me of being a Karen <laughs> for cancel culture. And it's like, Sh Shadman isn't... Shadman has always frustrated me. Because for whatever reason, he is someone who's held up as like a, a paragon of free expression. And it's only because he draws pornography. Uh, if, if he did the shit he did, but he wasn't like... A pornographer, he wouldn't get the pass that he does. As long as you make porn of something, for some reason it's a more highly protected form of speech than anything else. It's, it's, it's really bizarre. And then people continue to defend this guy. Like, okay, whatever your stance is on Lollicon, I know people who are like in the porn business could not give less of, less of a fuck. But he, he drew porn of kids. <laughs> like, not just... Like, as a form of revenge, he drew pictures of of um, Keemstar's stepdaughter. He drew pictures of Daphne Keene, who was the actress from Logan. And he specifically said in chat, in his chat when he did it, that he was a, not drawing Logan, but Daphne Keene, the actress. And it's like Daphne Keene could, could find those pictures. She could, like, Google herself and find pornography of her being raped by her coworker, Hugh Jackman. And... What I consider to be, like, the, the creepiest thing he did, if you don't remember, there was a YouTuber named Lieutenant Corbis, or Soph. Yes, the same Soph that Ethan Ralph allegedly masturbated to while blackout drunk. Uh, she was a, a member of his Discord, and she had, like, a special, like, kitten role, where she was on the user list in a different category and had a pink name and stuff. Like, she was in his adult pornography Discord thing, at labeled Kitten, where they were sharing porn he was drawing porn and shit and it's just like i'm not okay with this and then he drew porn of her where she's like sucking off on microphones if it's a cock and it's, she, it's like she's like 13 <laughs> she's like 13 and, and she's ruined she's she's going to be like a, a fucking nutcase her entire life because she was groomed online by and she was put online by her parents because they i i, I assume that her parents set her up because she had been doing weird shit online since she was like nine and it's like i'm guarantee you this is like a single mother or something who's like exploiting her daughter to make a quick buck using adsense and it's just it's, it's just bullshit it, it disgusts me and for for years exactly like with jonathan and eve i sat here with my arms crossed like a little karen with my nice little karen haircut going um actually it's really it's really a bad thing that John, uh, Jonathan Yaniv is allowed to like intrude on women faces and like get get female empowerment feminist banned from Twitter for for no reason. It's really bad that they should be doing that. And it was like, no, 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 no. There's nothing wrong with with uh, Jessica Yana, perfectly valid and trans and, and all this shit. And then it comes, then all that shit hits the, the the international news about him abusing the fuck out of all these women who are running like salons and stuff. Like the silence actually breaks on him for whatever reason. And then finally he loses all his power to censor shit online. And I I've re I've read it. Reiterated this several times, but Jonathan Yanev was able to get my Twitter account banned, get verified blue checkmark feminist accounts banned from Twitter because he was friends with the co-founder of Twitter. He was able to get my stream about him banned from YouTube before it even went live because it had a, a, a photo of him as the thumbnail. It's like he had inordinate power and then he, and then he got canceled only after uh, enough people were complaining about him and knew about him. And then the same thing here. I'm sitting here looking at Shadman like, um, actually, it's really bad for him to be drawing pornography of children. It's really bad for him to have, like, the this little girl marked as a kitten in his pornography discord. Come on, guys. And I was like, oh, shut up, you fucking Karen. It's, shut up, you fucking... You, this is anti-free... What happened to Mr. to Mr. Free Speech over here saying we can't draw pornography of fucking kids? Come on now, Karen. Karen Moon. Get over yourself. And I was like, okay, well... Now he's a heroin addict <laughs> and he's trying to kill people. I hope you're satisfied, you fucking retards. I feel like I feel like every time I've tried to cancel someone, I've been completely and totally justified, and then everyone realized I was right. Uh, and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's something else that, that I've been missing. But I really I really don't pick up the, the crusader shield and sword unless I feel completely and totally uh valid in my, my cause. But what do I know? I'm just some fucking guy.